Hey guys, today I'm gonna teach you how to make the cheapest, fanciest, quickest dessert pastry. First, you're gonna need a block of cream cheese. Make sure it's room temperature, so it's super, super soft. See? So it's easy to mix up. I'm gonna need a bowl where I can mix all this up. I'm just gonna use a spoon. You can use a um, hand mixer, but we wanna make it really quick. I'm gonna add butterscotch flavoring, one tablespoon. And first I'm gonna get these two combined because when you add liquid to cream cheese, it can separate for just a little bit. So first I wanna make sure that this two ingredient is all mixed together. Then I'm going to add two teaspoons of sugar. It's okay if the sugar does not melt right now because it is going to melt once it's baking. And this recipe is going to cost you under $10. It is insane what going to come out from this. Like no one's going to believe that this costed you under $10. The puff pastry I'm using is the one from Trader Joe's and each has each package has two sheets but i'm only using one and a half sheet because only six fits on my tray so what i'm gonna do once i take all these foils is one of the sheets has four squares so i'm gonna cut it into half like this you don't want this dough to be room temperature it has to be slightly cold otherwise it's gonna get very sticky and very messy Here's my baking tray. I put silicone on the bottom so it doesn't stick. And although puff pastry is very um, full of butter, it will probably not stick on anything. Mm -hmm. So here I have my cream cheese and I'm just gonna put a big spoon on each. This, uh, this cream cheese is gonna be enough for the six. See, bowl is gone. What you wanna do is Push it out from the middle. Do not go all the way to the edge because we want the edge to rise and it's gonna rise and it's gonna be so beautiful and crunchy. The mid part where the cream cheese is, is gonna be more softer and not gonna rise as much. It's a Danish puff pastry, so um, the outside is supposed to be bigger. I'm using these peach halves from Trader Joe's. They are so delicious and pretty cheap. They also have pears. This recipe is also really good with pears. It's really quick to make this recipe. Really, really quick. Um, I do not suggest using raw peaches because they are more juicy than this one. And I don't know how it will turn out if the raw peach releases all that liquid. So just go with the canned peach halves. It'll be perfect. Look how beautiful they are. Everyone keeps thinking that these are eggs. Preheat the oven and bake at 375 for between 15 to like 23 minutes. This was after 21 minutes. Um, not slightly as gold as I want it to. Now, the reason why I say is th there's no exact time because everyone's oven works a little different. Once it's golden brown, that's when you want to take it out. You don't want to burn them because it will be a shame. Saucepan and then a big spoon of apricot jam. We're going to create that beautiful glossy apricot glaze. For this, I also added a teaspoon of water just to make it more liquidy because the jam is pretty solid. Just mix it all together until it's warm. And now we can brush it with that delicious, glossy, sweet jam. And another reason why the jam um, glaze is good because the puff pastry itself is not sweet. So this puff pastry can be used sweet or savory recipes. The jam is gonna make those edges a little bit more sweeter. So it works in two ways and um, it's possible you have most of the ingredients at home, cream cheese, sugar, um, canned peach, uh, and puff pastry is all you need. Look how beautiful these are. Under $10 for all six. If you go to a bakery, one is gonna cost you six, seven dollars. 
So definitely try it. You can impress so many people. And it's great for potlucks or any event. Enjoy! Enjoy!